Hello, Empowered Woman. Welcome to this episode of the Empowered Woman Podcast. Brace yourself for another dose of encouragement as I share what really, really matters for your audience to connect with you and invest. I also brag with my amazing clients who make all this work worth it and possible and invite you to come check out the Empowered Woman School. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Empowered Woman Podcast, the number one show on personal growth, visibility, and profit for women entrepreneurs. If you're wanting to start believing in yourself, giving yourself permission to succeed, and let your voice be heard to make an impact in the world as an entrepreneur, this is the place for you. I am so glad that you're here. My name is Marta Spurk, and I'm your host, triplet mom, woman empowerment coach, and all things motivation extraordinaire. Welcome again, and let's dive into today's episode. So the other day I got lost on YouTube (laughs) and I found um, some recordings of the meetings that I used to interpret for in Brazil. Well, in fact, my mom has a huge YouTube channel for her ministry and all the recordings from the conferences of in the span of five plus years are on there, the conferences that I interpret it for. So basically I have a ton of videos on YouTube. (laughs) And sometimes I forget about that because I've been so, you know, focused on my business and my stuff, but it's almost like I had this past life for so long with me starting at 18 years old and doing it for almost 10 years. It's insane. And I forget. And um, as I was flipping through, I remembered, and then I actually found a video of a time where I was interpreting on stage, you know, over a thousand people um, and beyond because then now, now, now this is on YouTube, but it's been broadcast on TV. It's been on radio stations in Brazil. And I just couldn't stop laughing. The minister uses storytelling, obviously, as part of his sermons. And at one point I started laughing at my own interpretation and I couldn't stop. And I was mortified because... Everyone depended on me, you know, and interpreting for so many years, it was, you know, a huge responsibility. There were times when I uh, had laryngitis and lost my voice and was still interpreting. Um, No matter what was happening, I had to be on and I had to be performing. (laughs) I had to bring my A game. And so when that happened, I was mortified, but I remember that it didn't matter. Everyone laughed with me um, and it went away. And watching the recording really, really warmed my heart because I could see people's reactions um, and they actually loved it. They loved that it was a real moment. And it reminded me of really the comparison of owning a business and wanting to be perfect and thinking that you have to put on this persona for people to love you when in reality you just have to be yourself. And oftentimes we get so worried, you know, what will people think if I change my niche, if I change my offer, if I change my price, or period, what will people think if I just decide to launch, if I just decide to charge for my services? We have so many insecurities and we just think that we're not enough, period. You know, that's that's the bottom line. We get worried and we forget that people are out there worrying about what others are thinking of them. And at the end of the day, none of these really ma- none of this really matters. What really matters is you being real, you being genuine, you showing that you care because the more I truly truly care about my clients results and really connecting with my audience the more they care about me and the more they connect with me and it sounds so cliche but because it's true that's all that all of us are looking for is is being genuine and really really caring and It's been amazing because the past week I've asked uh, for some of the ladies that are a part of the Empowered Woman School to write a short testimonial. In fact, I've been asking more and more, and that comes with with being more confident. You know, you get scared of even asking for testimonials when you're first starting out because you don't even know if people actually are enjoying what you're doing. So how dare you ask for a testimonial? But now with the years and with people getting amazing results and giving me amazing feedback, it's been a lot easier and a lot more natural to say, hey, would you write a quick note and tag me in my Facebook group? 
um, so that everyone can see, so that I can see it. And this is something else that I wanted to share with you that it is important that you ask people for feedback for the testimonial because it not only encourages you, but encourages others to know that it's safe for them to invest in you. It's safe for them to take that next step. And I really wanted to say all of this because more and more I see that what holds people back is their fear of what others will think. You know, am I going too far? Am I asking too much? Or I don't know what to say, you know, and that's why I'm, I have such a hard time creating content. But the reason why you don't know what to say is because you don't believe that what you have to say is enough, <laughs> that what you have to say is good enough, you know, or that people will actually enjoy what you have to say. So might as well not say something, not say anything. But the fact is, is that if you don't say anything, nobody will know what you have to offer. And you're never going to actually get anyone to invest, to sign up, to become a client, um, or you just, you know, feel so overwhelmed because you have so much to say and you don't know where to start. And a lot of that is self-sabotage as well. So I thought I would share a story because all of us have moments where we made a fool of ourselves and life has gone on. Every single day we're making a fool of ourselves. Just stepping out of the house is a risk, <laughs> you know, regardless, but especially these days, but we have to do it. That's just the way that it is. Every single day you open your eyes, it's a risk you're taking, right? You step out of bed, it's a risk you're taking. And the same goes for you being a business owner. You are a risk taker by nature, <laughs> if that's the route that you're choosing to go. And and then when I share, so I shared this story on social media. I actually posted the video in my stories. So if you hurry, you'll be able to see, uh, but it's on, it's on YouTube, uh, the video of me laughing on stage. Because I wanted to encourage you to think back of moments where you made a mistake or you took a risk or you made a fool of yourself or you didn't know what you were doing and you did it anyway to, to encourage you that it's okay. Life goes on. And that's something that, you know, I learned even from my kids because they're just learning life and they make mistakes, but they keep on going. What are they going to do? Give up forever? <laughs> and it's in me fostering this in myself that I can foster it in my kids and in my clients and the other day I saw a mentor's post saying how it is so amazing to see your clients get results and fulfill their dreams. And also so amazing because when you when your clients fulfill their dreams, you're fulfilling yours. It's really all connected. You know, when people go up stage, Oscars, receiving the Oscars, receiving an award, and they say, this is to, for you, my fans. It wouldn't have happened without you. And it's so true. There, And I've said this before. There is no success in a vacuum. We need each other. So, you know, I can't just stay up here and say, hey, I'm amazing and I'm doing all these things. The only reason why I'm growing and achieving new goals and new things is because I have people that trust me. <laughs> it's because I have clients. You know, we need each other. So I, I want you to remember that. The people out there need you and it's okay if you make a fool of yourself, if you stumble and fall. And I shared a little bit of my um, journey with my business, how the first course that I created when I decided to branch off uh, uh, network marketing was called Passion to Paychecks. I released that October 2018 and nobody signed up. And now I know why, because I literally just created the whole thing and posted it in my group and got crickets. I didn't have any kind of strategy on how to release that so that people would be interested, so that my offer would be relevant, which is now what I teach my clients. And I teach this with uh, lots of authority because I've been there, <laughs> you know? Um, and then in 2019, I launched a group program called Happy Mommy, which the focus was more personal development for moms. Only one person signed up and it was a group coaching program. So I got two friends uh, to join in so that it would be a group program. Then in December of 2019, I launched the Empowered Woman School. And two people signed up right away. But then, you know, a few people joined and a, a few people cancel this and that over two years. And we're at 40 members and counting. This is the journey, my friends. Putting yourself out there, you know, scraping your knee a little bit, getting up, continuing on. 
And I wanted to record this for you today, for you to remember that that's the process and embrace it and love it because you're learning and you're meeting amazing people along the way as well. So without further ado, I wanted to read a couple of amazing testimonials from my clients um, because they're just incredible. Um, and I'm actually going to be going live inside my group with one of my clients, Kat. She's from New Zealand. She's incredible. Um, uh, to, to hear directly from her on her experience in the Empowered Women's School and working with me. But I thought for the podcast, I would read it here. Um, she says, just wanted to give a shout out to my amazing friend, Marcia Spurk. I joined the Empowered Women's School a few months back, initially just for a networking opportunity and possibility to meet future clients as the price was and still is such a no-brainer. Then as I started to see the content Marta was putting out every month, I was like, holy hell, this is so good. Marta goes above and beyond to support the ladies in her community. And I swear I've gotten more value out of her work than several programs that have cost literally thousands of dollars. Marta is the real deal is so helpful and supportive and gives you everything you need to run a kick-ass successful business. If you're on the fence to join the Empowered Woman School today, join today and don't look back like me. Thank you, Marta. I still have so much to learn and do. She has such an amazing heart. I have been so blessed um, to have to have her in my network, network and to have met her. So that's Kat. And if you're in my Facebook group, stay tuned because we're going to be going live tomorrow uh, on Wednesday. And then... Another testimonial, this is this is a little bit longer one from Bella. I met her when I was being interviewed by Rose Jubb for her podcast. And if you remember, Rose was here on the show a few months back. She talks all about, you know, feeling good in your own skin, wearing clothes that make you happy as an entrepreneur. She's a fashion stylist, wardrobe, wardrobe extraordinaire. Um, so anyway, she was interviewing me. Bella was in the audience and we connected. She joined the school and here's what she has to say. The Empowered Women School has made such a significant difference in my life and has greatly influenced the trajectory of my business. I love the way Marta mixes it up with all the values she provides with courses, enriching projects, pep talks, group coaching calls, guest, guest speakers, and countless opportunities for us to show up for ourselves so we can truly feel empowered. I feel so blessed to be among the, my incredible twos sisters you know, short for the Empowered Women's School. I have had many coaches in the past. Marta has an innate ability to feel exactly, oops, has an innate ability to feel um, exactly our needs and is so resourceful for a practical solution. She's attentive and knowledgeable, down to earth, and most of all, she really cares. I always feel seen and heard and she is truly invested in our progress and growth. She's supportive and inspiring. She leads by example and helps us through the mental, emotional states of being while we are crushing it in places where we would otherwise feel stuck. I never feel left hanging. She encourages us to build momentum so that we can feel proud of our accomplishments and confident to go to the next stage. Because of the Empowered Women's School, I've finally become clear on my marketing strategy for both a wellness coaching aspect and a sole purpose and abundance mindset life coaching. I've taken time to mull it all over and I've set myself up for success this weekend to get them from my head to my heart and onto paper from the two days of bonus clinics this week. So the clinic that I was hosting last week. I worked with my intuition and inner, and inner divine guidance to get me to this point without rushing the process. Everyone works on their own pace and she tailors her guidance for us so we are never cookie cutters. Huge celebration. Clarity is powerful and is everything when it comes to our lives and our passion and purpose. Three cheers for twos and Marta, a fearless leader to show us the way to greatness. I love that. I love that so much and I'm so grateful and so grateful that she says that I let everyone go on their own pace. And this is something that I have learned because I have had people tell me that I'm overwhelming, um, back out on uh, contracts, you know, of working with me. And then I have people that tell me, you let me go on my own pace. So this goes to show that, that there will be people out there that don't resonate. There will be people out there that won't want to work with you or that will decide to work with you and then decide that it's not for them. And that's just part of the journey too. learn to love and accept yourself for who you are, because there will be people out there that will learn to love and accept you for who you are as you do that as well. And so I wanted to share all of this to encourage you, but also to let you know that I would love to have you in the Empowered Women's School. And in fact, I've decided to start offering op an open house uh, monthly where you can come and check out the school, uh, one of our meetings, because we have three meetings uh, a month. And get the vibe, meet the ladies, um, see how I run the group, um, and decide if it's something that you want to join. You know, 
I, I, it's all about taking risk, but I want to reduce some of the risk to have you check it out. And I would love to have you check it out. Uh, and so if you're interested, just send me a message, send me an email, and I will send you the Zoom information so that you can, at no cost, join us for our meeting um, this Friday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So Friday, August 6th. If it's something that you'd be interested in doing, I would absolutely love, love to have you. Thanks so much for tuning in today. And I just wanted to leave you with this. Why not you? Why not you? Follow that nudge in your heart to continue on with your business or to start your business. Why not you? Become a part of an amazing community of women who support each other as they grow their business, aka the Empowered Women's School. Why not you? Until next time, bye.